When Protestants dialogue with Roman Catholics, Protestants lose because the Roman Catholic Church has exempted itself from the possibility of error. She says about herself that the infallible definitions of the Roman pontiff are irreformable. Think about the very historical movement that we're a part of, the Protestant Reformation. The church needed to be reformed, and so they did, going to scripture. But Rome kind of fossilized its position and said, no, we can't be reformed because we don't err. We never make errors. Vatican I said, therefore, if anyone says that blessed Peter the apostle was not appointed by Christ the Lord as prince of all the apostles and visible head of the whole church militant, let him be anathema. If anyone says that the Roman pontiff has merely an office of supervision and guidance and not the full and supreme power of jurisdiction over the whole church, let him be anathema. Okay, folks, they're usurping an office and place that is held by one, that is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the head of his church in this world. Ephesians 1.22, and he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church. He has not delegated that to a pope. 